Hi everyone, it is Lisa and I am here with your weekly oracle card reading for the week of Monday, October the 8th through to Sunday, October the 14th. I'm putting this reading up a little bit early because I have um, decided that I'm going to take a well-needed rest this weekend. We are celebrating Thanksgiving this weekend here in Canada, um, so I'm going to take some time to enjoy the um, glorious colors that we're having here in fall and um, just ex enjoying time with my family and um, I deserve it so uh, and we all do so there's a message for all of us to when we feel guided to take some downtime uh, do indeed do that it allows yourself to be refreshed renewed and uh, re-energized to come back with even more so I'm really excited about the reading for next week. I've pulled our crystal and our animal cards, so I'm so excited to see what messages are going to be brought forth. I was guided this week to use the magical messages from the fairies by Doreen Virtue, and as always, our crystal card comes from Tony Carmine Salerno's Crystal Oracle deck, and our power animal comes from Dr. Stephen Farmer's Power Animals oracle cards. So the cards have already been staged and aligned and they have been pulled. I have not looked at them yet so we're going to do that together. So our card for Monday and Tuesday is love life. The basis of your question involves your romantic life which is now changing for the better. So many people have been experiencing shifts within their relationships and I can relate because I have been too. Uh, and what I'm hearing right now is that these changes and things that you have put in place and your ability to communicate lovingly from a heart-centered place, all of these things have worked in your favor and you're about to enter smooth, um, smooth ground when it comes to relationships. Now the card speaks of love relationships. I'm hearing also that this is uh, not just romantic partnerships, but all love relationships. So within your family, uh, with friends, even work relationships, things are going to settle down now. And it's really about um, you making a decision within your heart um, as to what it is that you want, what it is you desire in a relationship and in a partnership, and then um, following through with that. And no more letting people off the hook is what my guides are saying to me right now. So if there's something that you need, there's a need for us to begin this um, heart-centered communication with one another. Um, so now is the time. So know that things are going to settle down in um, your relationships uh, in the coming week, which is going to be wonderful news for lots of us who have been riding out some turbulent waters. And, and again, what I'm hearing is these turbulent waters that people have been experiencing are really about an inability to accept life on life terms, on life's terms, and an inability to accept yourself right here and right now in the moment as you are. My cat is dying to come up and say hi, so I'm going to put him on film this week. This is Tristan. Isn't he gorgeous? He is the sweetest little cat you would ever know. Um, uh, so anyways, I uh, went off track up there a little bit. But what there is, is there's a great need. Now he's sitting on my lap. There's his tail. There's a great need for us to love and honor and accept ourselves right here and right now in this moment. And as we do, you will begin to notice that your life and the people around you change. And the great truth is, is that not always the people around you, it's not always them that have changed. It's you that has changed a perspective um, of a certain situ on a certain situation and that in turn um, just creates this wave of change that takes place through your life. So trust that things are going to smooth out and we're in for happier times ahead. Yay! <laughs> okay, on um, 
where are we? Wednesday and Thursday. Children. So it says your connection with children is a part of your life's purpose. So lots of us are being, um, whether we're parents or not parents, um, there's a great need to do things a little bit differently than they've been done in the last, say, 40 years, particularly when it comes to raising children. Um, and that doesn't mean, like my mother says, that we need to be helicopter parents because we certainly don't. Um, and I feel strongly that this is a message for all the parents out there. And just to let you know, you are doing a great job. You're a great mother. You're a great father. Um, and, and trust this and trust that if you're receiving messages about a certain um, direction that you are um, guided to take with a particular child follow that trust your own intuition so many as of us you know something goes on with our child and it's like oh we better run to a professional so they can tell us what to do you already know what to do this child came to you and chose you and there's a reason for that you are a wonderful parent and you are be re being reminded of that this week um, and for those who have felt like they they want to be working with children or that their life purpose involves working with children, this card comes as confirmation that that is true. So my um, heart's deep desire is that we're raising a generation of children um, and that don't need to be repaired um, as much as uh, some of us have had to uh, as adults. So we're raising children and we're not inflicting wounds upon our children. Um, so, you know, just know that you're on the right track and continue to follow the guidance you receive um, when it comes to raising your own, your own children or when it comes to um, following uh, guidance you've been receiving about um, the direction of your career path as it relates to children. The children are our future, Whitney. And through next weekend, everything's okay. Yes, it is. Stop and breathe. Too many people, we've been experiencing intense energetic shifts. Lots of us have been receiving downloads and our vibration has been lifted. And in, as this is happening, there, um, it's, it's like, like an earthquake almost happening. So all these shifts and things come to the surface and life feels like, oh my gosh, it's spinning out of control. It's not. Stop right where you are. Take a big breath in through your nose and exhale and know that everything, absolutely everything is okay. Everything is going to be okay. You are okay. You are going to be okay. And everything is unfolding exactly as it's meant to in divine and perfect time. And what the card says, <laughs> what it says on the bottom of the card is, don't worry, it's all working out in a beautiful way. The recurring message I've been getting this week and passing along to clients, um, and it's not just for one client, I, it's a, a message over and over and over I'm receiving, and that is loosen those reins of control that you hold on so tightly, because what you don't understand is you have no control um, over the way things are going to play out. You have no control over other people's thoughts, feelings, reactions, and actions. You have no control of that. The only only thing that you have control over is your beautiful self. Um, so take control and take charge of your life and know that absolutely everything is going to be okay. Even if it's uh, um, awkward and uncomfortable in the moment, it is going to be okay. And like we were um, assured earlier in the week, things are going to smooth out in all areas of our life. There's a great revolution happening right now and it's a really peaceful revolution and it's happening at the most basic of levels and it's happening in homes around the world. And the, this is where the healing begins within our our homes, within our hearts, within our family of origin. Um, and then we can take that um, 
peace out into the world and that is the way that we are going to come to live in a time of peace and great joy because we are all um, here for the same purpose or our, our basic needs are the same and that is to love and be loved. That's what we want and most of us have a deep desire within us for peace and the way that that begins is through working through our own healing um, you know uh, repairing any damage that may have been done inadvertently there's not this is not a time to place blame or point fingers at anyone else because remember friends every time you point fingers there's three pointing back at you. And when someone said that to me, it changed um, my whole perspective on um, the blame game. So this is no time for blame. Know that everything's going to be okay. Work with Archangel Michael. He's uh, come forward right now and he's asking that we work with him um, and ask him to help ground and shield and protect us from negative energies. And also... Um, you know, uh, working with um, retraining our thoughts, so working with positive affirmations. And a beautiful friend of mine, a fellow light worker, um, she introduced me to an affirmation about a year ago, and I love it. Thank you very much, Ramona, if you're watching. And that affirmation is, everything is working out for me. Repeat after me, friends. Everything's working out for me. And that's not coming from an egocentric place. That is coming from a heart-centered place. And that is coming from a place of wanting to live in alignment at all times with my greatest and highest good. So say it again. Everything's working out for me. This will be our affirmation for the week. Our power animal of the week. And I think it's a wonderful... Um, it just complements this reading and the recurring messages that have been coming through. I will post detailed information um, on my website about our power animal as well as our crystal card. But our power animal is antelope. Be decisive or decisiveness. Make a decision and take appropriate action. Right? You can't just sit around and say, oh, but I wish something could be different. What is it that you wish for? What is it you want? Make a decision and then take the necessary action steps to move forward. If you want to just sit, sit. If you want to move, then move. Make a decision and when you make that decision, make sure it's followed by affirmative action. Okay, because nothing just happens by sitting around and wishing um, that things would change or that your life would look different than it does. The only way change um, um, really happens and takes place at a deep soul level is when we are actively involved in the process of change and actively involved in our own healing. So let's follow the advice of Antelope this week and make a decision and take action on the decision that we made. Our crystal of the week. Absolutely divine. And this one's come up quite a bit. So, um, you know, working with it even after, I think we had it not last week because uh, it was calcite, but the week before, I believe that we had the same crystal. Um, or it was in the last few weeks we've had it. And it's rhodonite. Okay. And I just so happen to have my rhodonite pink puffy heart here so i keep this close to me it's great uh ladies bras are a great place to have a little quarry happening just make sure that they don't fall out um what it says in here and again it, it, it echoes the messages that have been loud and clear all week um, the keynotes of this crystal according to the book are achievement potential, emotional balance, and an open heart. And remember, for lots of us, opening our heart is um, a frightening prospect because then we become vulnerable. And who likes to be vulnerable? And yet it is a necessary step in the process to, um, to ascension or through the process of ascension. So I'm actually going to read what it says because it's actually quite short. It says, you are well on your way to achieving your heart's desire. I feel the need to show the heart. Life is all oh, for your heart's desire. So trust and keep an open heart and mind. 
Life is always full of potential and you are always on the right track. So do not be discouraged by the recent setbacks you may have experienced. And lots of us have. Continue to move forward. Keep quietly focused on all that you wish to create and achieve. Enjoy the journey and have a loving attitude. Have patience and faith and the universe will help you manifest your dreams. The universe is always conspiring for us. We only need to work with the energies that are all around us all the time. Something wonderful is soon to occur. Trust and keep an open heart and mind. And how beautiful is that message to receive? Um, so it looks like a wonderful week. Um, I'm sure lots of you are thrilled to get, um, a message like this this week because, you know, the times and the, and the shifts have been intense. Um, just a couple of quick things. Come and visit me on my Facebook page, Wisdom of the Heart, Intuitive Healing. I would love to have you and become an active uh, member of that community. Um, and it's really a community of like-minded individuals on a similar path. And the way that we um, come to really know that we're not alone and the way that we really come to heal is through our connection with others as well as our connection to source or the spirit that moves through us all. Uh, for October, I have a special happening which you can purchase via my website www.lisalyle.com and they are elemental readings. So in these readings you will receive messages from the fairies, you will receive guidance on which crystal is going to be most beneficial for you to be working with right now as well you will receive guidance um, on which animal uh, guide is with you currently and what they the messages they bring um, for you right now. So that is $30 Canadian. It's a fantastic deal um, and I'm having really fun, uh, a lot of fun working with these. I've also been strongly guided by my guides in the past week that my, um, and I've known this for a long time and yet I've moved away from it. So I'm coming back to um, who I really am and who I really am is an energy worker, um, an energy healer. And so I have been guided that this is to be my focus. So I do offer a variety of healings. Um, I was guided earlier today to offer a special for the next three days only um, through Canada's um, long weekend, Thanksgiving long weekend. And it's an energy healing. Um, so in this, your chakras, you'll receive a chakra assessment, a balance and a clearing, um, along with any messages that come through for you from your guides. These these healings are powerful and um, I love doing this type of work so I'm really um I'm really honored to be walking this path and and um, I, I'm ready to listen and follow the guidance um, of my own beautiful heart and my many guides that walk with me. So I would love to be of service um, either through doing readings for you or energy work and particularly energy work. Um, that is, um, there's so much that we can learn from from energy work and, and uh, many messages come through. So it would be an honor for me to be of service to you and yours. Um, please do visit me on uh, Wisdom of the Heart, uh, interact on this uh, YouTube page and make comments like the video, rate us up. That is um, wonderful and helps me out a lot in getting my message out there. So from the very bottom of my grateful heart, I'm sending you all waves of love, light, and gratitude. Thank you so much for allowing me to walk the path of my heart and live um, my divine life's purpose and truly live the life of my dreams. Um, it is an honor. So I wish you all a beautiful week for all my Canadian friends. Happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your weekend. Enjoy um, the, the downtime with family and friends. And remember, there is always so much to be grateful for. And I know that all of you viewing this video, I am eternally grateful to all of you for your love and support. You inspire me every day. Thank you very much and a great big namaste.